This video will show you how to use chronological order to organize an essay. By the end of this video, you will be able to answer the following questions. What is chronological order? What types of essays use chronological order? How do you organize an essay with chronological order? And how do you write topic sentences in chronological order? So let's begin by reviewing chronological order. This is just time order. This is the way you write or talk when you're narrating a sequence of events or telling a story. So when would you need to use this type of order in writing essays? Well, you might use chronological order if you are writing about a special event or a memory or giving somebody instructions. The trick is, in or, the trick is organizing your essay. Remember, when writing an essay, you state your main point in the essay's introduction. Then, each body paragraph explains that main point. In chronological order, because you're telling a series of events or steps, each body paragraph is about one or more event or step. Here's an example. Let's say my instructor assigns an essay on a memorable event, and I choose a vacation I went on with my significant other last year. We went to Hocking Hills, Ohio, an area full of camping locations, log cabins, national parks, and hiking and other outdoor activities. After completing my pre-writing, I decided to focus on six major activities that we did in Hocking Hills. Rock House Cave, where I almost fell off a cliff, canoeing down the river, a scenic train ride complete with a staged cowboy robbery, hiking Old Man's Trail, which was long and exhausting, but had a waterfall at the end, so that made it worthwhile, zip lining in the trees, and fishing in the ponds at our cabin. The main point of my essay is my vacation in Hocking Hills. I have created six main ideas to explain that main point, but if I write six body paragraphs, my essay will be too long. So how do I organize my essay into only three body paragraphs to fit the assignment? I need to group my main ideas or my events together. So here's my list of main ideas. How can I group them together? Well, two of my ideas are about, are about hiking in the national parks, Rock House and Old Man's Trail. So one paragraph can be about hiking. Canoeing and zip lining are both fun activities we did. So another main idea can be about that. And then that leaves the scenic train ride and fishing, which were both kind of relaxing. So I guess the third paragraph can be about that. So now that I've organized my ideas and decided how to group them together and in which order I want to present them, I need to write topic sentences for my paragraphs. But I'm not completely narrating a series of events here, and I've grouped my ideas together. But I still need to make sure that I'm clearly using chronological order by including some of those chronological order transitions that we talked about when we learned how to write paragraphs with time order. So here are some ways I could write the topic sentences for these paragraphs. My first paragraph will be about hiking. My topic sentence can say, the first thing we did when we arrived in Hocking Hills was go hiking. Notice I use the transition word first to signal to my reader that I'm about to give a series of events. My second body paragraph is about the other fun activities we did. So that topic sentence might say, on the third day of our vacation, we decided to change it up and participate in some fun activities. I've included the transitional phrase on the third day to signal to my reader that I'm still going through a chronological order, that I'm still talking about a time. My third body paragraph is about relaxing. So that topic sentence could say, after long days of hiking, zip lining, and canoeing, it was nice to spend the evenings relaxing. Here I've used the transition word after to, to signal to my reader that this was the last thing that we did. Writing in chronological order in an essay is the same as using it in a paragraph. You're just writing a longer piece, so you're combining your ideas in different ways and explaining them possibly in more detail or including more events. The trick is to organize your ideas in a way that still lets you go through them and explain them in a sequence of events, and then using transitional words and phrases to make sure your reader understands that you're writing in chronological order.